Shalom. Call Halal Yahawa Bahashim Yahweh Shai Bahashim Rakakwadash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone who taught me this truth and rule well. Salutation and salutations to the brothers out there that are laboring and pushing this truth in truth and in sincerity and in charity. <coughs> Slakia. And risking their lives and their freedom to do so. To you I say Shalom. <coughs> to the Akim and to the Akwath. That'll be you brothers and sisters. Adawan Rataza. That is to say, Lord willing. Hopefully by the end of this lesson, you'll be edified. This is your brother Amawan Ibad from the GMS Miami camp. Back again with another lesson to the spirit and power of Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai. To feed the lambs of Yahweh, Yahweh Shai, as commanded. Um, Salakia, if you hear me cough from time to time, I've been under the weather for a day or a few. And um, I'm getting better now, okay, all courtesy of the spirit and power of Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai. <coughs> my, brother's lifting up, my brother's lifting up prayers for me. Um, this lesson I'm going to be going into um, was inspired by the brother, um, the elder, the elder brother, Manata Zak, from um, the elder bishop from the Connecticut, uh, the Connecticut camp, one of the elder bishops. Okay. Elder Manatazak, I was listening to one of his lessons um, entitled, We Told You There Was a Target on Your Back, you know, and that's on his channel, um, Jacob Barak 2, uh, Subscribe and Be Edified, okay, but I was listening to the brother whilst I was uh, working, and um, he, had went in, he had went into uh, uh, Matthew 11, which speaks about I'm going to get it and read it. This is Matthew 11 and verse, I'm going to read verse 12. This is my point. When he, when he brought this out, you know, immediately I, I began to think. You know, it says, um, Matthew chapter 11 and verse 12, it says, And from the days of John the Baptist until now, the kingdom of heaven suffereth violence, and the violent take it by force. So immediately, you know, when he read that scripture, you know, my, 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 my mind just took me to John 3 and 16. You know, we've been having that, having to break that down to, to plantation Christians for like forever, you know. <laughs> um, they, they, they just misconstrued that, that breakdown, man. You know, they, they try to include the whole world, okay. When it's speaking of the world of Israel, man, when you go into that word, uh, world in John 3 and 16 okay it is, it, it is it, in the Greek it's cosmos which is speaking of an orderly arrangement okay that's speaking of the world of Israel man you see so when we was uh, when the brother had, uh, read that scripture okay uh, Matthew 11 and 12 and from the days of John the Baptist until now the kingdom of heaven suffereth violence. This is talking about the, the, the people of the Lord, man. Okay? Our people were suffering under the hands of the Roman Empire, man. You see? Our people were suffering. Remember what they took uh what they did to John the Baptist? They behead the prophet, man. What did they do to our Lord? Okay? They crucified the Lord. You see? Our people were suffering violence, man. All right? It says, and from the days of John the Baptist until now, even until this very day. Right? Don't the scriptures uh, tell you Psalms 83? When you go into that, that, that tell you who, who are uh, 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 the enemies of our nation, man. Matter of fact, well, you had different empires and different rulerships, okay? But after the time of... Uh, uh, King David and King Solomon, those years when we were sovereign as a nation, okay, after the split, we had a lot of different kings afterward, you know, but after that split and we started to go down as a people, as the scripture speaks about a, a falling away, 
because we transgress against the Lord, we would live under these curses and you know have to go through the falling away. Okay. At at the end of the day, the wicked, which goes back to Esau, okay, who was created to be the wicked. All right. Uh, Proverbs sixteen and four. The Lord say, "I've made all things for myself. Yeah, even even the wicked for the day of evil." All right. So he's the one who go through throughout the earth, punishing with the sword, as the sword was his blessing. Okay. And the scripture call him the border of wickedness. And, and, and everywhere this man go, it's just <laughs> wickedness, man. Because that's what he do. The scripture tell you that. No man can make straight that which the Most High made crooked, man. So you can't rehabilitate this man in no kind of way. Okay? The scriptures say, uh, 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 he, that, he that is uh, 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 just merely paraphrasing, wicked to himself, un un unto whom shall he be good, man? Roughly paraphrasing, you know? A, 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 leopard, a leopard cannot change his spot, man. You know? Those that are accustomed to do evil can they do good roughly paraphrasing so at the end of the day the two main characters in the scriptures is Jacob and Esau man one is made to be the righteous which is Jacob and one was made to be the wicked man this is Esau you see so the kingdom suffered violence right the kingdom is speaking about our people man we had a a, a, a temporary kingdom under King David fought it under his son Solomon for another 40 years of peace alright that was just a shadow of the things to come which is which the kingdom is going to be set up on earth after our punishment after we go through what we have to go through to suffer the things that we have to suffer because we transgress against the Lord the Lord is going to send his begotten son who is our Lord and Savior Yahweh Shai to come deliver his people the elect so the kingdom is suffering violence man those those uh, that left their first estate and came to the earth in those spirits, okay, in these vessels, okay. Right now, we we trying to find our way back to the state that we was before, okay. We trying to get back to that place where we was before, man, okay. But you're gonna have to go through the straight gate, all right. So in the meantime. Our people been suffering violence at the hand of many nations, but at the end of the day, our arch enemy, the wicked, is Esau. Okay? And we suffer violence under the hand of, all right, the wicked uh, and, 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 and different captivities, man, under the, under the Greeks in the time of Antiochus, okay? Under, under the, uh, uh, the Roman Empire, the time of Herod, okay? You see, different time periods, man. Okay. Um, but like I was saying, somehow plantation Christians, they still try to include, all right. Um, they still try to include all people into the, the, to the promise that was promised unto Abraham. Okay. Isaac and confirmed to Jacob. The promises, the blessings. They still try to include the rest of the world in it when that's not what the scripture is saying. The scripture is saying it's for Israel, man. You see? It's for Israel. Now, I wanted to read this in the NLT and then I'm going I'm I'm to go to um... Okay, this is the NLT. I, I wanted to read it in the good news. All right, this is, and this is um, NLT. It says, and from the, and from time that John the Baptist preaching until now the kingdom of heaven has been advanced has been forcefully advancing and violent people are attacking it okay because the scriptures say they have said come and let us let us cut them off from being a nation that the name of Israel be no more in remembrance man so we've been having people come up against us man all right this is nothing new so the kingdom of heaven suffered violence man you see that's 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 us as a people because in the in the kingdom to come, the scriptures tell you how uh second Ezra chapter six and verse nine, Esau is the end of the world, all right, and Jacob is the beginning of it that follow it, man. You see? Let me read this in the good news translation. This is Matthew um 
Matthew chapter 11 and verse 12, the Good News Translation, it says, From the time John preached his message until this very day, the kingdom of heaven has suffered violent attacks, and violent men tried to cease it. Did not they cease it? Did not, did, was not Jerusalem sacked by the Romans? Okay? And, and our people were scattered into all nations, man. The Lord prophesied that it would happen because the scripture speaks about, you know, they, they, knew, they knew not their time of visitation. Okay? Because the people was going off. They was transgressing against the Lord, man. You see? The Lord scattered them, man. Scattered our people for, 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 for transgressing against him. Okay? It says, from the, time, from the time John preached his message until this very day, the kingdom of heaven has suffered violent, violent attacks. Okay? So when I say the kingdom of heaven, it's speaking of our people, man. It's, speak, it's speaking of the Israelites, man, the, the Lord's uh, chosen people, man. Okay? And violent men try to cease it. You see? But like I said, when I heard, when the brother went, went into that, um, so as a matter of fact, so who, if, 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 the, if the kingdom of heaven, it goes into our people, because we're the Lord's chosen people, right? It says, suffered violent attacks, and violent men tried to seize it. Who's the violent men? The wicked men. The wicked, right? Which is Esau. Okay, now how, how, when the Lord returns, how he's going to return to, 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 to deliver the oppressor and the oppressed. That's not going to work. Okay? You can't, you can, it's not, that's unbalanced and the Lord doesn't deal with, uh, the scriptures tell you, uh, Proverbs 11 to 1, uh, 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 uh. A false balance is an abomination to the Lord, but a just way this is delight. Okay? The Lord not coming to return to deliver the oppressed and the oppressor. No, he's coming to put down the oppressor so he could deliver the oppressed, the poor. <laughs> you see? That's how that works. You see? The kingdom of heaven, all right, just like Jerusalem. Jerusalem is the people before it's a place. It's the people. The kingdom of heaven is the people, man. You see, it says, from John preached this, his message until this very day, the kingdom of heaven has suffered violent attacks. This is talking about the people, man. And violent men tried to seize. Who were the violent men? The wicked. Right? So when the Lord returned, did not, do not, do, does not the scripture uh, speaks about uh, Isaiah, the 63rd chapter? Who is this coming from? From Edom, the dyed garments. From Basra, when the Lord returned, the Edomites are going to be in control. That's who He's coming to put down their rule, man. And these different kings from these different heathen nations, man. Beginning with the wicked, beginning with Esau. Why? Because he is the he, 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 he for the controversy of Zion, man. The oppressor is oppressing the oppressed. You see, so yeah. So when you go, so that thought came to mind. I said, when, like when the brother went into that. You know, this came to mind, you know, because these plantation Christians, they like to include everybody into this when it's not dealing with everybody. First of all, they just jump straight to John 3 and 16. Well, how about this? Let's start up from 14. And as Moses lifted up the serpent in the wilderness, and this is going back to the time when the children of Israel came out of Egypt, ancient Egypt, and the Lord delivered them, okay, out of Egypt, okay, with a mighty hand, all right? It says, and Moses lifted up the serpent in the wilderness. Even so must the Son of Man be lifted up. You see? Even so the Son of Man must be lifted up. Now, does not the scripture tell you, okay, Matthew uh, chapter 1 and verse 21, okay, that Mary will, is going to conceive and have a son. Okay, the angel Gabriel told her that she, she, she shall call his name Yahawashai, which his name is a Norman Omen. Okay, which means name prediction. His name predicts what he's going to do. It says, for he shall save his people. When you read Matthew chapter 1 and verse 21. So his name is a nomen omen, which means name prediction, right? He's going to save his people, meaning the people of his kindred. Okay? He's of the, the, uh, uh, the lineage of David. Okay? Those that 
come out of the righteous seed, okay, beginning with Adam, all right, to Abel. Abel was slew. Lord raised up Seth. It continue on with Enos, okay. All get, just keep going until get down all the way down to um, um, uh, um, Noah, okay. All right, and during the time of the flood, okay, the Lord uh, delivered uh, Noah, his sons, his three sons, and, and their wives, and his and Noah's wife, eight souls. There was the elect of that time, and then Noah, had three sons, Ham, Shem, and Japheth. Okay, the righteous line, the son of God continued through, the sons of God continued through Shem. All right, Shem, a fox side. Okay, it keep going down and giving you the lineage until it get to Isaac, Salaki, until it get to Abraham. Okay, and the Lord, um, the Lord, okay, uh, established his covenant with, with, with Abraham, man. Okay, the promises. Okay, he promised him the land, okay, flowing with milk and honey, man. All right, he, 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 and he tell him that his seed will be as the stars of heaven, man, and as the sun, innumerable, man, okay? And he confirmed the seed in Isaac and in Jacob, man, all right? All right, the sons of God, man, that's who is the kingdom of heaven, man, the Lord's chosen people, man, you see? And that's who the salvation is for, those that whom the Lord have chosen, okay? And, th and this time is the elect. Okay, it says, and Moses lifted up the serpent in the wilderness, even so must the Son of Man be lifted up. Verse 15, it says, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have eternal life. You see? And that's how you know it, it is by faith, through grace, by faith. It is not of the law. You see? Though you must keep the law to the best of your ability, it's by faith, through Yahawashai. Because he went up on that cross to be the propitiation, to give an atonement for the, for the sins of the nation of Israel, man. Because we transgress against the Lord as a people. And our way back to the Lord was, is through Yahweh Shai. No man coming to the Father but by me. All right? So the Lord didn't go on the cross for all people. He went on the cross for the nation of Israel. All right? It says, verse 16, For the Most High... So loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believeth in him shall not perish, but have eternal life. Okay, Salakia, but have everlasting life. Okay, the most high so loved the world that he gave. This is the world, this word world here, world is talking about uh, the world of Israel, man. When you go into this word, it is cosmos in the Greek. Okay, as a matter of fact, let's, let's do it. And let's go to it. You know, repetition is key. Um, let's get that word, world. Let's go to John 3 uh, and 16. John 3 and 16. And let's go into that word. Okay. This is John chapter 3, verse 16. All right. This is G2889. The word is cosmos. Right? And it says what? An hum, harmonious arrangement or constitution, order, government. You see? Harmonious arrangement. Okay? The arrangement. All right? This is talking about the world of Israel, man. It's not talking about the entire world. If it was talking about the entire world, the word would be oikomeni, meaning the oikomeni says the whole entire inhabited earth. Like when you go to Revelation uh, 3 and 10, okay? That word world in that scripture, that, that, that means the entire earth, the inhabited earth. This right here is speaking of the world of Israel, man. Okay, so that's what came to mind today when I was listening to the brother, the elder uh, Manata Zach okay, one of the elder bishops from um, Connecticut and I, I thought I would just uh, speak on it you know, and Lord willing, it was edifying so I'm going to end it there, giving all honor glory and praise unto Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai Bashim Rakakwadash double honors to the elders and apostles of great millstone the time of this truth and rule well salutation and citations to the brothers out there that are laboring and pushing this truth in truth and in sincerity 
and in charity, risking their lives and the freedom to do so. Until the next time, Shalom.